Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to perform a P delta analysis using the iterative large delta and small delta method in STAD Pro. So structures subjected to lateral loads often experience second order forces due to the movement of the point of application of vertical loads. This secondary effect, commonly known as the P delta effect, plays an important role in the analysis of the structure. Now we're going to go ahead and turn our attention to a model that's already been created in STAD Pro. All of the section properties and material properties have been assigned to every member within the model. We've also assigned any specifications, supports, and loading. Let's take a closer look at the loading before we invoke any analysis commands. Here you can see that I've set up four different load cases. Two load cases are for gravity loads, dead loads and live loads, and I have two lateral cases for this particular model that will represent wind load in the X and Z direction. In addition to that, you're also going to notice that I've generated load combinations according to the ASCE 716 strength design method, which is an LRFD method. It's important to note that I used repeat load cases to define the load combinations. Now a repeat load case is basically a primary load case that will use combinations of previously defined primary load cases. It is very important to understand that if you're doing any type of second order analysis, including a P delta analysis in STAD Pro, that you use repeat load cases to define your load combinations instead of your traditional load combinations. We are now ready to move on to the analysis step in our workflow. To start that process, go to the workflow page control area at the top of your screen and select the analysis tab. Here we can see the input file is displayed basically in the analysis dialog and we need to finish off our input file with an analysis command. To define an analysis command, we're going to go to the analysis and design tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the analysis commands icon. Within the analysis print commands dialog, let's go ahead and select the P delta analysis for this particular model. Now for this particular exercise, we're going to be performing an iterative P delta analysis that considers both P large delta and P small delta. Let's go ahead and talk about those individual effects quickly. Let's go ahead and talk about the P large delta and P small delta effects. P large delta effects are your second order effects induced on a structure due to the movement of its mass under lateral loads. Your P small delta effects are your second order effects caused by displacement of the member between its bracing points. As you can see, the default in the P delta analysis is to consider both the P large delta and P small delta, and we'll go ahead and keep this option selected. Now the P delta analysis command that uses the large and small delta is an iterative analysis procedure. During an iterative P delta analysis, STAD Pro starts by calculating the primary deflections based on the external loading. These deflections are used to calculate the member forces and plate stresses, which are then used to calculate the P delta secondary loading. This secondary loading is then combined with the originally applied loading to create the effective load vector for the next iteration. The revised load vector is used to generate new deflections and the element or member forces and support reactions are calculated based on the new deflections. These steps will then be repeated for several iterations. Now we typically recommend three to 30 iterations to ensure accurate results and to ensure that instability is not an issue for the structure and the loading. If instability were an issue, it would be reported during the analysis and in the output file. For this example, we're going to go ahead and specify 20 iterations. At this point, let's go ahead and click the Add button, and you're going to notice that our P delta iterative analysis has been added to the end of the input file, 
And again, this will consider both P large delta and P small delta. Let's go ahead and save our model and run our analysis. To run your analysis, select the Analysis and Design tab in the ribbon toolbar and then click on your Run Analysis icon. After the analysis is performed, we're going to be able to see if there are any errors or warnings that were reported during our analysis. Here I can see that no errors or warnings were reported and I can proceed to review the results. If any errors or warnings were reported, I can view that information in the output file. Now for this particular example, let's go directly to the post-processing mode. Once in the post processor, you can review a variety of pieces of information and they're gonna be based on each of the individual load cases. Now, since we defined our load combinations as repeat load cases, the results of those loads are also indicated in the tables. Let's go ahead and take a look at the reactions area and specifically, I'm gonna take a look at the statics check results. For each load case, we're gonna indicate your loads, your reactions, and then the difference between those two numbers. Since we are considering second order effects, I am assuming that I'm going to see a little difference in the moment for each of the individual load cases. At this point, this completes our process for performing an iterative P-delta analysis in STAD Pro that considers both P-large delta and P-small delta. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.